Hello, welcome to A Gray Barn Rising. I'd like to read this evening from the poetry of one of my favorite poets, Muriel Ruckheiser. Muriel Ruckheiser uh, spent most of her life in New York. Um, she was a wonderful uh, poet of great emotional intensity, uh, very woman-centered in her approach and very uh, experimental in that she tried different techniques in order to capture the uh, poetics of, uh, of her gender. Muriel Ruckheiser also uh, had several political poems. I would encourage you to read through her work. I'm going to be reading this evening from the Muriel Ruckheiser Reader, but there are many collections including the collected poems of Muriel Ruckheiser and you can find her work. Uh, it's, it's easily available. I think I will begin with uh, one of her most famous poems, The Poem as Mask. And it has the uh, subtitle of Orpheus. When I wrote of the women in their dances and wildness, it was a mask. On their mountain, gold hunting, singing in orgy, it was a mask. When I wrote of the God, fragmented, exiled from himself, his life, the love gone down with song, it was myself split open, unable to speak, in exile from myself. There is no mountain. There is no God. There is memory of my torn life myself split open in sleep, the rescued child beside me among the doctors, and a word of rescue from the great eyes. No more masks, no more mythologies. Now, for the first time, the God lifts his hand. The fragments join in me with their own music. There's even a wonderful anthology of poems of women that, that take the title of, uh, or actually um, part of this poem, the line from this poem, No More Masks, as the title of the anthology. Very important poem of Ruckheiser's. This poem, Night Feeding, is a very intense personal poem. And I love the other thing that Ruckheiser can do besides her political poems is go so deeply personal and yet the personal is simultaneously public for her where the the revelation she makes on a personal level become open for social critique and they become open to something wider than just the self marvelously talented in that regard and this is her poem night feeding deeper than sleep but not so deep as death I lay there sleeping, and my magic head remembered and forgot. On first cry I remembered and forgot and did believe. I knew love and I knew evil. Woke to the burning song and the tree burning blind. Despair of our days and the calm milk giver who knows sleep, knows growth, the sex of fire and grass, and the black snake with gold bones. Black sleeps, gold burns. On second cry, I woke fully and gave to feed and fed on feeding. Gold seed, green pain, my wizards in the earth walk through the house, black in the morning dark. Shadows grew in my veins, my bright belief, my head of dreams deeper than night and sleep. Voices of all black animals crying to drink, cries of all birth arise, simple as we found in the leaves, in clouds and dark, in dream, deep as this hour, ready again to sleep. Her marvelous poem, Night Feeding. And I'd like to close this installment of the poetry of Muriel Rockheiser with uh, 
one of my favorite poems of hers, uh, Effort at Speech Between Two People. I love, it has these wonderful gaps in the text, these sejuras, these visual sejuras uh, that really push the rhythm uh, beyond what is normally expected uh, in this poem. And it also, she does this really weird and wonderful thing where she begins the entire, the entire poem with a colon, as if there's all of this other stuff that comes prior uh, to the poem. I love that. So just imagine the poem beginning with a colon, and several of the stanzas uh, begin with a colon. Effort at speech between two people. Speak to me. Take my hand. What are you now? I will tell you all. I will conceal nothing. When I was three, a little child read a story about a rabbit who died. In the story, and I crawled under a chair, a pink rabbit. It was my birthday, and a candle burnt a sore spot on my finger, and I was told to be happy. Oh, grow to know me. I am not happy. I will be open. Now I am thinking of white sails against a sky like music, like glad horns blowing and birds tilting and an arm about me. There was one I loved who wanted to live sailing. Speak to me. Take my hand. What are you now? When I was nine, I was fruitily sentimental, fluid, and my widowed aunt played Chopin, and I bent my head on the painted woodwork and wept. I want now to be close to you. I would link the minutes of my days close somehow to your days. I am not happy. I will be open. I have liked lamps in evening corners and quiet poems. There has been fear in my life Sometimes I speculate on what a tragedy his life was, really. Take my hand, fist my mind in your hand. What are you now? When I was 14, I had dreams of suicide, and I stood at a steep window at sunset, hoping toward death, if the light had not melted clouds and plains to beauty. If light had not transformed that day, I would have leapt. I am unhappy. I am lonely. Speak to me. I will be open. I think he never loved me. He loved the bright beaches, the little lips of foam that ride small waves. He loved the veer of gulls. He said with a gay mouth, I love you. Grow to know me. What are you now? If we could touch one another, if these, our separate entities, could come to grips clenched like a Chinese puzzle, yesterday I stood in a crowded street that was alive with people, and no one spoke a word, and the morning shone, everyone silent, moving. Take my hand. Speak. What a poem. <laughs> Effort at speech between two people. Uh, those were the, the poems, a small selection of the poems of the marvelous poet Muriel Ruckheiser. And uh, I hope you'll read more of her work.